Rong Wang's ears were whirring wind, blowing on his face like a knife cut. Rong Huang shivered from the cold. I opened my eyes and found a strange scene in front of me. There was noise under the feet. Rong Huang, don't think about it, let's come down and talk about it. Rong Huang, come down quickly. Life is yours, Rong Huang, you should cherish it, the upstairs is dangerous, you hurry down. Rong Huang blinked his wet eyes and looked down. Where is this? Where is her phoenix tree forest? Where is her piles of gold and silver treasures? There was another voice behind him. This classmate, what can I tell the teacher in my heart, life is so beautiful, you are only seventeen or eighteen years old, and you will still grow in the days to come. There was a lot of babble behind, Rong Huang didn't listen to it anymore. Anyway, I did not understand what they were talking about. Rong Huang only remembered that she was still drinking peach blossom wine in the Wu Tonglin, why did she get here in the blink of an eye? Who is fixing her? Although there were a lot of enemies in the Six Realms, they basically couldn't beat her, and they certainly didn't have the ability to get her to this ghost place without knowing it. Hello host, I am your lovely exclusive system water. The noisy sounds in the ears were blocked, and the whirring wind also stopped for an instant. Time seems to have stagnated. It was replaced by a soft, soft female voice. Rong Huang looked around and saw a palm-sized girl flying in the air. The little girl was wearing a pink princess dress, with blonde hair and light golden eyes. She was born in white, and she was very cute. The little girl also had a pair of wings behind her, in a looming form, and a quicksand-like pink color was flowing on the wings. Rong Huang opened his eyes slightly, his eyelashes trembling like a butterfly wing. This thing is even cuter than her. Can't bear it. Who are you? Say your name and let's fight. The one that wins is the cutest. The little girl who claimed to be Shui Shui flapped her wings closer, and stopped on the railing in front of Rong Huang. You are now in the 3000 small world, and I am your system water. Seeing Rong Huang's soft and cute appearance, Shui Shui felt that she was lucky, and she met such a satisfied host just after leaving the factory. Unable to hold back, Shui Shui continued to step forward, standing on Rong Wang's knees. Huang Huang, you are so cute. Don't call me Huang Huang. Rong Huang frowned, very dissatisfied with the name. It sounds very small. She is not young at all. Then what do I call you? Great King. Rong Huang didn't hesitate to think. The King. Rong Huang was satisfied, bending his eyes, really good. You just said that I am in a small world now. Rong Huang looked at the strange tall buildings around him, and asked Shui Shui. Yes, you are in one of many small worlds independent of the six realms. Why are you getting me here? Every time you go to a small world, you need to do one or more missions. Rong Huang tilted his head, oh? What if I disagree? She doesn't like being threatened the least. My lord, don't you want to be the most powerful person? Rong Huang immediately became interested. She was the most powerful person in the god realm. Everyone was afraid of her, and even the god emperor had to treat her respectfully. Now I want to be the best person. Then how can I be the strongest person? Every world has a villain, as long as you become a villain, you are the most powerful. Villain. What is that? Although Rong Huang lived for tens of thousands of years, he was either spending time in the Wu Tong forest or doing evil in the Six Realms, and he knew very little about the outside world. The villain is the most powerful villain in every world. It is a representative of darkness and evil. Even the protagonist and heroine who have luck should avoid their edge. Don't you want to be a villain, King? Rong Wang's jet black eyes lit up. Bad guys? She likes. It's just a task, it's not going up to the sword and going down the fire. It's so easy. What kind of villain is this, she is very interested. My lord, you are now in the first world. Your identity is the physically disabled Miss Jiao Jiao. 
Rong Huang looked at the weird buildings around him, Miss. God Emperor Lao has several daughters, all of them are eldest ladies who bully others in the God Realm all day long. However, after being beaten one by one, I saw that she took the initiative to take a detour. Next we are going to start receiving the plot, please take care of the first world plot the water softened and said. Then a memory that didn't belong to Rong Huang was forcibly stuffed into Rong Huang's mind. Rong Huang snorted slightly uncomfortably. Is it so uncomfortable to receive the plot? Isn't it okay not to receive the plot? Want to hit someone? Because this is the first time the king has done a quest, and he is not familiar with it yet, so I will first inform the king of the plot. Later, only when the quest object is triggered will the plot be unlocked. The original owner has been in poor health since he was a child, so it can be said that he grew up in a medicine jar. But this has brought up a gentle and famous lady. Whether it's school performance or going out to participate in various competitions, the original owners are all outstanding. The person who really stands at the top of the pyramid. Once the original owner went to a neighboring city to participate in a physics competition. On the way back, his private car collided with a truck that was out of control. The original owner was seriously injured, and she was confused when she saw a young man appeared in front of her. The boy looked anxious, as if calling an ambulance. The original owner's life was saved, but it is very likely that he will sit in a wheelchair for life. This is a big blow to the original owner. After being discharged from the hospital, the original owner went to school in a wheelchair every day. Under the strange eyes of countless people, the original owner felt embarrassed. Others are walking, and she can't even stand up. Just when she was discouraged and life was in chaos, she met the young man who called the ambulance. It turned out that the teenager and her were in the same school and the same grade. Yin Ling is a very gentle person and the original owner likes to be with Yin Ling very much. Just when the original owner liked Yin Ling and spent the night writing a love letter and handing it to Yin Ling, Yin Ling sneered and read the love letter in the public. With countless mocking eyes, the original owner felt that he had returned to the time he had just been in a wheelchair at that moment. Even more uninteresting in life than at that time. The original owner learned from Yin Ling that he had someone he liked, named Peng Yu. The original owner remembers Penjiu, every time she is the first in the competition, then Penjiu is second. Yin Ling said that Peng Yu was depressed because of being overwhelmed by the original owner every time, and even thought of dropping out. Yin Ling felt distressed, so he tried to get close to the original owner and let the original owner taste the taste of failure and being laughed at by everyone. In this way, Penjiu will be happy, and then he will be satisfied. Hearing Yin Ling's words, the original owner collapsed. The original owner did not expect Yin Ling to lie to her, the purpose is to please Peng Yu. Coupled with the bad remarks about the original owner that has gradually circulated in the school since then, the original owner has been driven to a ruin step by step. When the original owner's parents rushed back from abroad, only the cold and stiff body of the original owner was seen. So what you have to do, King? is to avenge the original owner. Shui Shui said softly, lying on Rong Wang's shoulders. Since Yin Ling and Penjiu are the masters of the male and female, then why is Penjiu being crushed by the original master every time? Rong Huang said that it was very difficult to understand. As far as she knew, the male and female protagonists were all in luck. There was no reason to be held down by the original protagonist by an 18LINE supporting role, right? The original host is just a female partner who was resolved on the road of love between the male and female leaders, just to reflect the pure love of the male lead to the female lead. So am I going to jump off the building now? Rong Huang glanced at the ground under his feet, and his beautiful apricot eyes were clean and clear. It's only a dozen meters high. According to the past, she can reach the distance with just a single movement of her foot. The original owner fell to death. Rong Huang opened his eyes slightly, incredible, there is such a fragile species in this world? Yet, yeah, you are on the top of the sixth floor now. Rong Huang let out a cry, no wonder it was so cold. 
My lord, from now on you have to concentrate on being a villain, I believe you can. Shui Shui cheered Rong Huang. Rong Huang lowered his head and bit his hands, then retracted half of his face into the soft and warm scarf, I see. She is now going to live a villain who is about to turn her braids into a villain. Rong Huang stared at the students wearing uniform uniforms and the well-dressed teachers underneath, and said to Shui Shui, the space can be released from static. Shui Shui tilted his head, okay. Rong Huang, can't they see you? Shui Shui nodded, his pale golden eyes blinked, yes, they can't see me, only the king can see you. As soon as he finished speaking, Rong Huang felt the tingling sensation on his cheek being torn by the cold wind again. Originally Rong Huang thought that those people would still be yelling in his ears. But those people didn't seem to see Rong Huang in the wheelchair, a blank expression flashed across their faces, and then they dispersed. Rong Huang grabbed the small tassel on the scarf, why are they all gone? Didn't you watch me jump off the building? Shui Shui smiled, this is my first gift to the king and now they have forgotten that you are going to jump off the building. Rong Huang let out a slow cry, and stood up subconsciously. The little blanket on his leg snapped to the ground. Rong Huang later realized that the original owner seemed to be unable to walk now. Shui Shui, do you know what's going on? Rong Huang bent down and picked up the blanket on the ground. I don't know, maybe it's just because you are here, the king. Shui Shui adhering to the principle of wearing nothing but flattering, lying on the cushion of the wheelchair, said with a small head. Rong Huang, all right. Rong Huang glanced at the wheelchair, but finally did not choose to sit in it. There is a bathroom on the roof of the sixth floor. Rong Huang pushed his wheelchair into the bathroom to tidy up his appearance. As the most beautiful little phoenix in the six realms, Rong Huang would certainly have the most beautiful appearance. Rong Huang made up his mind to let the hero and heroine climb for me. After finishing his appearance and confirming his beauty, Rong Huang washed his hands and pushed out the wheelchair. Tang Jian snorted, how did you get to the sixth floor? The third grade is on the fourth and fifth floors. How did she bring her wheelchair up? Rong Huang's chin was hidden in the scarf. Only a small, tall, and small bridge of the nose could be seen, and his eyes full of water. There is no ugly woman around Yin Ling, either a school flower or a class flower. This is especially true for little girls. It's the severe winter season, and it's quite cold. The little girl wanted to wrap her head to her feet, like a ball. Sitting in a wheelchair obediently. Two Bai Shen Shen's little hands were twisted together. The girl's skin was white and soft, like the glutinous rice dumplings that she had eaten before Tang Dynasty. The black and white eyes seemed to contain galaxies, and they seemed to be covered with a layer of mist, moist and squishy, very attractive. The lips are also pink and tender, and there are two small pear vortices when they smile. It's sweet just looking at it from a distance. Kneading that makes people want to turn over and over. Before Tang, fingers curled up without a cigarette. At this time the class bell rang. Rong Huang blinked, class is now. Not in class. Tang Jian walked to the trash can to extinguish the cigarette, tilted his head and looked at Rong Huang. Rong Huang nodded, his voice soft, looking very bullied, I want to go. Tang Jian sniffed, regretted not putting the down jacket out and glanced at the wheelchair sitting under Rong Wang's buttocks, go down by yourself. I may. The disabled, Rong Wang suddenly thought of going downstairs to go through the stairs, which was a bit difficult, so he turned around, very healthy person. Then before Tang, I saw the little girl stand up from the wheelchair with difficulty like a penguin, picked up the wheelchair of at least 20 or 30 kilograms, and ran downstairs. At that speed, Tang Qian suspected that the dog would not be able to drive it. Qian Tang. Now I understand how she came up with her wheelchair. This girl is so agile, why is she still sitting in a wheelchair? Tang Qian sighed, now young people are really more and more able to play. Tang Qian swayed back to the class, lazily shouted a report, 
and walked in with one hand in his trouser pocket before the teacher could speak. Walk all the way to the last row of the first group. Sitting down against the wall, Tang Qian threw the cigarette case lighter into the belly of the table. As soon as he looked up, he saw the beige ball in front of him. Tang Qian was a little surprised, why didn't he notice that there was a ball at the front table before? The air conditioning and heating in the classroom were fully turned on, and everyone else took off their down jackets and wore sweaters or shirts. Just the little girl wrapped up like a ball. It seemed that it was a little hot too, and the little girl raised her hand with difficulty and took off the scarf. Exposed the slender white neck. Tang Qian's eyesight was very good, so good that he could clearly see the hairline on the back of his head. Brother Tang, what are you looking at? A male voice sprang up in his ear, and Tang Qian suddenly pulled his eyes back and saw a face close at hand. Qian Tang was a bit disgusted and pushed people away with the boy's shoulders, did you eat hot pot again recently? Qin Su subconsciously touched the acne on his face, and smiled, it's not a few meals, the day before yesterday, I ate Hei Dai Lao with Tao Jing at noon yesterday, and went to have a barbecue in the evening. The disgust on Tang Qian's face almost overflowed. As he was about to speak, he listened to Qin Su's reply, fucking college bully finally came today. Before Tang, he didn't know, so he followed Qin Su's sight and saw the ball on the front table, what is it? Oh, by the way, brother Tang, you have gone abroad for more than half a month to compete. It's normal if you don't know. The young girl was sprouted by Rong Wang's behavior, and her original arrogant aura was suddenly reduced by more than half. What tone was she talking just now? Did you scare this kid? Seeing how soft and stubborn, she might be pinched to death with one hand, right? The girl coughed twice, putting one hand in the pocket of the down jacket, her concise and handsome expression, Dang Yu. Rong Huang turned his pen and nodded. Dang Yu sat down, stuffed her bag into the belly of the table, and brushed off her long flax hair, Why are you sitting here? She remembered that the child seemed to be sitting in the first few rows before. Exclusive seats for top students. Rong Huang tried to think about it. It seems that because Yin Ling read love letters in public before, the original owner felt ashamed, so he told the class teacher to sit in the last row. But because someone was sitting in the last row, the original owner retreated and sat in the penultimate row. Rong Huang thought that the kid behind was an opponent who was going to grab the villain role with her, and couldn't help but boil over. When he said this, Dang Yu glanced at the two thin legs Rong Huang was stepping on in the wheelchair. Oh, they were really short. Rong Huang didn't realize that he was disgusted at all, and he said nonsense, I think this is a place of feng shui. The kind suitable for a career. Be a villain do a task do a career nothing wrong. The next class of physical education, shall we go? Dang Yu glanced at Rong Huang's wheelchair, and suddenly regretted saying this. It is said that the disabled are more taboo about these things. He didn't know that Rong Wang's eyes brightened after hearing this, and he nodded frantically, I'm going. Dang Yu hesitated for a while, how do you go downstairs? At the beginning, because the original owner was in a wheelchair to go to school, the original owner's parents specially donated money to build a road for the disabled. The kind for wheelchairs. Rong Huang blinked his eyes seemed to be covered with mist, can you push me down? To Shang Rong Wang's black and moist eyes, Dang Yu didn't know what was going on, and she couldn't say anything when she refused. Dang Yu thought it was Rong Huang who gave her something, and nodded without thinking, okay. Just sit here and don't move. Dang Yu fixed the wheelchair in place and patted Rong Huang on the head. Harm, who made her want to be a good person all year long. Rong Huang looked at the students coming and going in the gym, well, good. Dang Yuefu, what on earth did this kid use to feed his elders? How cute is it? The class bell rang, and the five classes over there quickly assembled. Today the physical education teacher asked the students to play badminton in pairs. Rong Huang lowered his head, holding the phone in his hand, mumbling. This thing is okay to operate 
it's much easier than power potential. Rong Huang clicked on a chat software and was about to study it carefully, but suddenly the back of the wheelchair was heavy. Rong Huang turned his head and was a girl. Yin Ling is looking for you. Without waiting for Rong Huang to refuse, he directly pushed Rong Huang in a certain direction. Rong Huang, hey? Is such an upright abduction really good? Dang Yu just finished playing a group, shook his racket, and looked in the direction where Rong Huang was. It was empty. People? Dang Yu burst into swear words, and the child looked stupid, so stop being abducted. Rong Huang was pushed into the equipment room by the girl and stopped. Yin Ling will be here in a while, wait here. The girl glanced at Rong Huang with some pitiful irony in her eyes, then turned and left. At. Why did you drop her? Rong Huang looked around, but he didn't even notice a personal figure. Originally, he was planning to be a villain in front of Yin Ling. It seems that this idea is going to fail. Just as Rong Huang was about to stand up and push his wheelchair out, there was a sound of messy footsteps at the door. Rong Huang looked up and saw that they were a group of unhealthy teenagers with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple hair. Rong Huang's eyes lit up for an instant. Seeing them like this, did they come to trouble her? Rong Huang rubbed his hands, looking forward to it. It's been a long time since there was a big killing. Gearing up. JPG. Are you Rong Huang? The red hair on the other side spoke shaking his legs as he said, a typical middle two teenager. Rong Huang paused and nodded. It's me, it's me, it's me, don't talk nonsense, let's come and fight. I heard that you have been pestering Yin Ling. Lan Mao's steel rod tapped in the palm of his hand, do you know that Yin Ling likes Peng Xiaohua? Rong Huang, no. She didn't bother. There are so many beautiful men in the God Realm and she hasn't missed any of them. Not to mention the scumbag Yin Ling. How can a little mortal be compared with her? Because of you, Pen Jiho cried. Don't you want to hang out in Zhangjin anymore? Rong Huang. In other words, this is the legendary campus bullying, right? It seems a little exciting. I don't even know you. After finishing speaking, Rong Huang shook his wheelchair harmlessly and wanted to walk towards the door. Hey, want to leave? There is no door. The door of the equipment room was slammed by yellow hair. Rong Huang's face was expressionless, I was so scared. It's just right to close the door, so the so-called closing the door to hit the dog. He <laughs> he. Did Peng Yu let you come? Rong Huang asked with a smile. Sure enough. The blue-haired eyes headed by Rong Wang's words changed. Rong Wang sighed, the little girl's family was very serious. You can't learn from her, and solve problems directly with your fists. I don't know if she can use her small axe in this place. Looks like it can't. Rong Wang said that he was very sorry. Do you care who let us? The red hair who came, stared at Rong Wang who got up from the wheelchair his eyes almost fell to the ground, you, you, you are not crippled. You are disabled. Rong Huang rolled his eyes, picked up the badminton racket on the table, and tried the quality of the racket. You guys, do you like that fluffy pleasure? Rong Huang pointed at a few people with a badminton racket. Then the red-haired face blushed, Peng school flowers are so beautiful, I like them all. No. Rong Huang put up a white finger and shook it, I don't like it. Because I don't like Penjiu, and you like Penjiu and want to trouble me, so I think you are not pleasing to your eyes. Those who are not pleasing to the eye are of course a lesson. What are you doing with so much nonsense? Go. The yellow hair yelled, encouraging the blue hair to rush forward. Before they saw Lan Mao rushing up, they saw the disabled Rong Huang who was well known in the school, appeared in front of them. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. Isn't Rong Huang originally in the center of the equipment room? Why did you get to them so soon? But they didn't have a chance to think more. How should I put it, 
the feeling of badminton slapping on my body is quite sour and refreshing. Oh fuck, stop, I'm going to break my bones. Eldest sister, sister, ancestor, you stop. Rong Huang directly threw the fifth broken badminton racket to the ground. Patting the dust on his clothes, Rong Huang was full of disgust, you big men can't even beat a delicate girl of mine. You are all good food. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, blue and purple, smile. JPG, smile and live. JPG. But the quality of the sports equipment in this school was really not good, and it was broken after a few hits. Hearing Rong Wang's tone of voice, it seemed that he still had regrets, and his harmony was still unfinished. Rainbow Seven Brothers almost sat on the ground and cried. Is it so unlucky to go out this morning without reading the almanac? Encountered a female lunatic. I think they are also Zhang Jin's bachelor, ah, Ba Wang, why did they lose their hand in front of a short winter melon? Wrong dwarf melon Huang, what do you say I am? The expressions of those people grinning stiffened, and seeing Rong Wang's fierce look on his face, he suddenly felt that the sky was about to collapse. What you think in your heart is one thing, no one hears it anyway. But if you accidentally say it, it's inattentive. As a noble and pure nine-tailed golden phoenix, Rong Huang has a uniquely exquisite appearance and a strong background. But the saying goes well. The thief god opened a door for you, and will surely close a window for you. A woman like Rong Huang, whose bug drove all the way to the ceiling, only had her height hurt. Looking at the god realm, the goddess who was shorter than Rong Huang could count it with one hand. So this became Rong Huang's taboo. Whoever mentions who died. The short winter melon is what you can call. Rong Huang asked, raising his chin. She obviously wears too much. She is still a big beauty with thin waist and thin legs. At the same time, he picked up the badminton racket that was intact on the table, and slapped them down. For a while, there was a sound of howling ghosts and wolves in the equipment room. In the end, Rong Huang kicked a pile of badminton rackets that were broken in two or more under his feet, forget it today, I will catch it next time, and the skin will be torn for you. Rong Huang threatened fiercely. The cracked badminton racket made a rattling noise, and the few people nodded in a hurry. If Peng Yu asks you to trouble me again in the future, you will return it to her in full. Rong Huang felt that he was really suitable for the role of villain. Lan Mao hesitated, after all, he was the goddess in his mind. Suddenly seeing Rong Huang pacing slowly to the shelf where the shot put was placed, the blue hair's eyelids twitched, and then he saw Rong Huang remove a shot from the shelf without blinking. Try it. Rong Huang curled his eyes, his tone was quite gentle. But in the eyes of the Rainbow Seven Brothers, it was just a lively little devil. I just went out and told others that their injuries were caused by this short, woman. I guess no one would believe it. Thinking of Penjiu's look full of expectation before leaving for the equipment room, Lan Mao's heart was bleeding. No, I know what to do. Lan Mao quickly said. Rong Huang was satisfied, and put the shot back with a bang. Okay, it's all gone. Why should I go? Rainbow Seven Brothers, if they were amnesty, had long forgotten their previous imposing manner, and S.A. Yazi ran away in the blink of an eye. Rong Huang hummed a little tune and came out of the equipment room leisurely, almost hitting someone. Big Brother walks and sees clearly, haven't you seen it when you hit someone? Rong Huang said, holding his nose without raising his eyes. Oh, I didn't see it. A lazy, smiling voice sounded overhead. Rong Huang brushed his head up. Oh, it turned out to be a competitor. Why are you here? Rong Huang was cut off by Dang Yu before he had time to say a run on his lips. Rong Huang maintained that I'm just a handicapped person who has to walk in a wheelchair and is pushed by people, sitting on the wheelchair as stable as Mount Tai. Just. I think it's quite interesting here. Rong Huang's eyes rolled and he gave a nonsense reason. Dang Yu looked at Rong Huang with a hatred of iron and steel. 
he was so restless in a wheelchair, squinted at Tang Jian and Qin Su, and walked straight towards Rong Huang. Go, take you back. Rong Huang has a well-behaved appearance, with his hands on his knees, his chest is straightened, and his body is straight, okay, thank you Yu Yu. Dang Yu's old face blushed by Rong Huang, kicked Qin Su, who wanted to reach her foot, and pushed Rong Huang out of the equipment room. It's over, it's definitely going to be green this time. Qin Su lifted up his trouser legs bluntly, and took a closer look. Before Tang, he couldn't understand Qin Su's nymphomaniac appearance, so he made up for it again. Qin Su smiled, not paying attention. Brother Tang, let me see what's fun in it. Just now the college bully said that this place is quite interesting, but he wants to see what's fun. Isn't the equipment room just sports equipment? Tang Jian raised his foot to stop Qin Su's attempt to squeeze into the equipment room, raised his chin, go, and play with me. Without waiting for Qin Su to speak, he directly hooked Qin Su's neck with his backhand and took the person away from the door of the equipment room. Eh, Brother Tang, be gentle, my neck is about to break. Tang Jian was still unmoved, hooked Qin Su to the basketball court. Bent down and picked up the basketball, Tang Jian's mind came up with the scene he had just glimpsed. A badminton racket broken into several pieces in one place. Tang Jian pulled his lower lip, and something flashed past his dark eyes. He took off his uniform jacket and wore only a shirt, and threw it aside, then walked away with his long legs and walked into the basketball court. As school approached, Rong Huang heard Dang Yu muttering something with her head down. Dang Yu is a scumbag. In class, besides sleeping, he plays with his mobile phone. Now that Dang Yu was holding the mobile phone in her hand, her head was almost lowered to the belly of the table. Rong Huang glanced at the teacher on the podium who was teaching the heavenly scriptures, then moved his eyes away with a headache, and quietly moved Mimi to Dang Yu. Yu Yu, what are you doing? Dang Yu was taken aback. If it hadn't been for Rong Huang who was speaking, she would have almost stopped her fist. Water stickers. Dang Yu explained, retracting her hand, and at the same time turned the phone screen towards Rong Huang. Rong Huang blinked. The photo in the post is the previous Rainbow Seven Brothers, with blue noses and swollen faces, and Rong Huang can recognize them at a glance. Rong Huang didn't expect that this matter would be known to everyone. But it's good. It is estimated that Peng Yu was furious at seeing it. Usually these few can't wait to hold Peng Yu to the sky, I've seen them unpleasant a long time ago. Dang Yu muttered a word, I don't know who is doing good deeds without leaving a name. Relying on studying well is great, Xia Huang Huang, I remember you are always the first one, right? Rong Huang, deny Sanlian. I'm not talking nonsense without you. Rong Huang sighed pretentiously, propping his forehead with one hand. I don't know what's going on. Since the car accident, I have felt that something is wrong with my mind. Hearing this, Dang Yu quickly comforted, it's okay, you're already smart, and you can take the first year test with your eyes closed. Rong Huang was even more worried. It seems, probably, maybe not.